Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Abby, and today I'll be talking to you about the plants that I'm really, really struggling with at the moment. I think it is important to talk about this kind of thing because on Instagram and a lot of the time YouTube, you do see people showing off their really healthy, happy plants. And it's not always the case. I can guarantee it's not always the case in everybody's like plant collection, um, even the best of the best. So I'm gonna show you the plants I'm struggling with. And if you could give me some tips as to why you think I'm struggling, do let me know down in the comments below. And before we get into the video, don't forget to like it if you enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe for more plant content from myself. So I am gonna start with the hardest plant. Um, well, this is equal, no, this is the worst plant actually that I've got. Um, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Half of the plant is currently on the floor because when I touched it, all the leaves fell off. Um, but it's this, um, what do we call this? Um, Ripsalis. Um, this used to be the biggest plant. And when I got it, it wasn't, it wasn't ever in like the best condition. I think that's why I got it in the sale. Um, but it's honestly like so unhappy and I can touch it and I mean I've just picked it up now and I think everything has just fallen off that it could um, and I'll take a picture and insert what has literally just fallen off literally half the plant has just come off in my hands when I just picked it up um, but yeah I don't know what's wrong with it it's it's really not looking that great anymore and I still think it's like such a nice plant but I don't know what I'm doing wrong I feel like I'm not watering it enough because it sits on my wardrobe at the back. Um, it gets dappled light, like low light, but it doesn't, um, I mean, I always thought this plant could handle that. Maybe it can't, um, but yeah, maybe I just need to move it. But yeah, this is the first one I'm struggling with. Um, it looks a bit sad. <laughs> so the next one's also a Ripsalis and <laughs> It doesn't look good at all. It's really, really crispy. Um, I know why this is struggling. I don't water it. It's in the corner, the top shelf, and it looks really good because it kind of like trails a little bit, but not too much for the area. But I, it's a real struggle to get to it, to water it, and I must water this. Um, I think I got it in November. I think I've watered it twice or three times, and we're in July. So yeah, that, that's, that's the reason for this one. Um, you can see here, it's super dry, but it's, also, it's out of sight, out of mind kind of thing, which is really bad. Um, and I've just remembered another plant and I, that's how out of sight, out of mind this other plant is. I was going around like picking all the worst ones and I didn't even think of that one because I don't see it that often. So I'll go grab that one. Actually, no, I'm gonna take you to it because We'll have a disaster if I move that one. But yeah, this is the second one, another Ripsalis. My only two Ripsalis as well, so you could say that I'm not very good with them. So this next one is um, my um, Deschidia. I got this from one of my favourite sellers, Rich Rainforest. And I always say his um, his plants like come hit and miss like in the post. Um, I bought three of these because they were like £5 each. And this is only half, I believe this is only half of what came because the other was in such a bad condition, I couldn't save it. Um, but yeah, I'm not doing very well like with this. I think, um, I personally think this was travel shock. Um, just that it's like, I haven't really kept on top of taking off the dead leaves. Um, but yeah, nothing, nothing has happened. It's really, really pretty. I absolutely adore it. but. Um, I think that's a potential new leaf I think I showed recently. Um, but other than that, it's not looking the best. Um, and again, it's the back shelf because I like the trailing part of it. But yeah, this one never arrived in great condition. And to be honest, all of the ones I've spoken about so far never got to me in the best condition, um, which is no excuse really. But yeah, this is another one I'm really struggling with. So this next one is a plant that it's not this particular plant I'm struggling with it's all of this type of plant like I've had um I've had four of these before one of them I just gave away in a um a plant swap and that was the best condition one I had but it hadn't grown for about a year and a half um 
but it's my Monstera Adamsonii. And it might surprise you because, is that a dead fly? Oh, um, it might surprise you because Adamsonii's are Adamsonii's. They're, they're not difficult to look after. Um, so you may think, but I don't think so. <laughs> I think they're really difficult to look after. And um, this one was sent over to me um, pre-Brexit. So last year from a European country um, and it was in the winter and it clearly had like um, like um, cold damage because the, the leaves were like going like black and like they were almost like bleeding black like tar. It was really bizarre. Um, and then I thought I had saved it um, and it looked okay. And then now like this is happening so it's like what i've done is i've just had to like cut it up and i'm trying to propagate it but even in there it doesn't look too happy and um, it looks a bit too brown for my liking but it's i don't think we're going to do very well with that it's like even the new growth coming through looks so sad but yeah i'm not i'm not the best with monstera adansonii um but i feel bad saying that because i bought one of these over from a european country two years ago I think I bought two and I was doing so well with that, like really well. It was growing like crazy. I propagated it a ton and then I did some swappings and I can't remember what happened to that one. But I think I was doing okay with that one. But all in all, like all the rest I've had, I've never ever been able to look after. So yeah, I think I might have to give this away or probably just throw it in the bin if I'm honest. So the last one I'm going to show you is the um, the fern. So it is the asparagus fern, um, and I'll, I'll put some like video over this so you can see it. Because like I said, if I move it, it will just like shed. This plant used to be amazing. It used to look so healthy. It was like like absolutely like I don't know. It was just unbelievably healthy, and everyone used to comment about. Like, how do they keep it so healthy? Because ferns are so difficult. And then it got so big for my space. Like I'm talking like it used to take up like so much space. I put it on top of my grow light and I never water it. Like I never water it. Um, and I, again, it's my own fault. So I'm learning that I, I'm lazy when it comes to watering. Um, it's is really bad it is really bad and i think so um like i just think i don't know i don't know why i'm doing it it's it's these particular ones that i know are already struggling so i'm kind of like avoiding them because it's a bit stressful dealing with them which is really really bad like you should never do that in life you should never just avoid everything um but yeah that's also one i'm really struggling with um and along with that um there's a few golden pothos just dotted here there and everywhere that I've taken from propagations that aren't doing so well because I haven't kept up to date with watering I'll water everything around it but I won't take that one to water so yeah my own fault here but yeah they're the plants I'm really struggling with at the moment what are you struggling with let me know down in the comments below please let me know I'm not the only person that has this problem I'm sure I'm not um but yeah it's a real shame because the the shidia and the um, ripsalis are um they're they're common as in like they're they're not like rare or anything but they're a little less hard to come by especially where i live so it's a shame that i've allowed this to happen so yeah i don't know i wouldn't even know how to propagate those two um ripsalis as well um to try and save them but i am going to take them all to the bathroom now and give them a shower and then let them dry up and put them in situ. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. Thumbs down if you didn't, but I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one.